Hello guys, welcome back. Merlin here. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, when I first started doing videos on YouTube, I did a series called MTG 101. And today we're going to return to that by focusing sheerly on black. So, there are three or a couple of things that are unique to black. One, black is exceptionally adept at killing creatures creature removal um they are very good at drawing cards but at a cost usually at cards that force them to pay a life or lose a life if they do draw or they discard x amount of cards from their hand to draw now as of late that has kind of shifted over to red the more or less of drawing as long as you discard or discard to draw but there's also cards that focus on the swamps that you have one of them is over here give me just a second okay so we're gonna go to do should be set to historic bear with me guys Okay, so I'm not going to be able to find that particular card. I know it's a little bit expensive. But either way, so we know that black can get beef off from swamps. There are also creatures like Plague Crafters. So when a Plague Crafter enters the battlefield, each player sacks a creature or a Planeswalker. Each player who can't discards. So a card like that is well worth paying the three mana. Because let's say you he's the only creature you have, you know, you cast him, you have to sack him. But your opponent must sack a planeswalker or a creature. And let's say your opponent has Gideon, an indestructible creature when he it's your turn. Or your opponent's turn, I should say. So you would use Plague Crafter, boom, it's gone. There are also cards for it that have a large amount of death touch and there's cards like which is vengeance creatures of the creature type of your choice get neg three neg three until end of turn so if you're facing a deck that's based around let's say a rat deck that produces a shit ton of um whether it be i think there's a scribe nibbler there's quite a few rats but either way you can use cards like Witch's Vengeance or Ritual of Soot are a couple of the newer cards. There we go. So this guy, Dread Presence. Whenever a swamp enters battlefield under your control, choose one. You draw a card and lose a life. Dread Presence deals two damage to any target and you gain life. So there's the life gain. Black cards do also gain life. Like with Erebos the Bleak Hearted, a new form of Erebos from Theros. Whenever another creature you control dies, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. And as long as your devotion is less than, or to black is less than five, he isn't a creature, but he is still indestructible. You can also use him to sack another creature, and target creature gets neg two, neg one. Then there's cards like uh, demons. Demons are another fine point of black's ability to just, you know, screw with the board state. Like at this guy. At the beginning of your upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals 1 damage to each player. Then if you have 10 or less life, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on him. There's also Nightmare Shepherd. Whenever a non, another non-token creature you control dies, you may X out. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Except it's a 1-1 one, one, and it's a Nightmare. There's also Rite of Belzenic, which allows you to create two zero one one Black Clerics. And that is more for uh, Priestess... Of forgotten gods and then its ultimate ability is to create a 6-6 black demon creature token with flying trample and at the beginning of your upkeep sack another creature if you can't this creature deals six damage to you if you equip it with a card that says you know that would give that demon life gain then you don't have to sack a creature if you don't want to there's also my favorite my personal favorite when it comes to black ravenous chupacabra I ran this card in my 
vampire deck until unfortunately it rotated out. Whenever Ran Ravenous Chupacabra enters the battlefield, destroy a target creature and opponent controls. There were cards at the time that could blink. And blink is a term that means to bounce a creature to your hand or to exile, but then return it right back to the field under its owner's control. So if you had the right cards, you could use Ravenous Chupacabra multiple times in a turn to really blow up the board state. Now another card or ability of black is the unique ability to deal damage to your opponent based on the converted mana cost of a card you would draw. Flight or yeah, Flight is not it. Twilight Prophet is a great example of this. Flying Ascend at the beginning of your upkeep if you have the city's blessing. That was a mechanic from Ixalan. If you controlled 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. That is a it's like a oh, what would they call it? It's like an emblem from a planeswalker. There we go. If you you can't destroy an emblem. It doesn't matter if you have a card that blows all permanents off the field. An emblem is still a permanent, but you cannot remove it, you cannot target it. You can do nothing with it. Once they get it, they've got it. And that was the same with City's Blessing. Once they get City's Blessing, yeah, you can't touch it, you can't eliminate it. Game over basically for you. Now there are cards in the newer set that happen to deal a lot with life life control more or less. That was another unique black deck in the original Theros block. Mono Black Devotion, which has seen a return as of late. Thanks to the Grey Merchant of Asphodel. When Grey Merchant of Asphodel enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life where X is your devotion to black. You also gain that much life. And yeah, that can really turn the tide. Say you're facing a white life gain. And you have 10 devotion to black. You play the Grey Merchant. Your opponent loses 10 life. You gain 10 life. And you've just swung the game in your favor. But that basically is black in a nutshell. Um, it does have a lot of cheaper cards that do death touch. I'm going to give you a couple, or at least an example here. Let's see. I know she's here. There we go. Okay, so... Sorry, guys. I know she's here. There we go. Vampire of the Dire Moon. Now, this is a unique card in the respect that it wields both Death Touch and Life Link. And that makes it a very powerful card for a vampire deck. Or for any deck, really. If you combo that with, say, Vicious Conquistador, whenever this creature attacks, each opponent loses one life. So you see, not only are you gaining life off from Vampire of Dire Moon, but Vicious Conquistador is forcing your opponent to lose that much more life, and he hasn't even swung yet. That is another unique ability of Black. Ultimately, Black has a great Planeswalker, and I'm going to bring her up here. Right now, the most current standard Planeswalker for Black, other than Ashiox, are Liliana Dreadhorde General. Now, that is another uh, Black archetype, and that is Zombies. Some black cards, if you get the right set, are able to remove creature cards from your graveyard from the game, or you can even sack a creature to create black zombies. And you can also amass. Amass is a mechanic that allows you to gain a plus one, plus one counter on a zombie you control. If you don't control that, or if you don't control a zombie... You create a zombie token, and that zombie token gets plus one, plus one. And then you amass again, and it goes right to that zombie. So you can continue to make a huge zombie. Now, if you're dealing with Liliana Dreadhorde General, whenever a creature you control dies, you get to draw a card. Plus one. Create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Neg four. Each player sacks two creatures. 
and Neg 9. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type. Now that would be enchantment, artifact, creature, land, and that's it. Oh, and planeswalker. I'm sorry. And then that's it. They sack everything else. So if you're facing a white life gain deck or even a white weenie deck, you can force your opponent to basically whittle down to practically nothing. You'd basically be resetting their board. And if they've used all their hat tricks to create those tokens, to create that army, and you take it away, you've basically won. Because you can use Liliana to create your 2-2 zombies and create enough of them that when you neg 9 her, or if you neg 4 her, it's not going to affect you nearly as bad as your opponent. Now, I will be doing a spotlight video on Planeswalkers, and that will go into my MTG 101 series. I want to thank you guys for listening. If you like the videos I'm doing, hit the sub button. Also, hit give me a like in the video. If you have any questions, comments, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Either way, you guys rock, and I will see you guys on the next video.